Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Golden Reviewer. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. It's the latest flagship device from Sony. And this particular model I have uh, has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of ROM, and it has the Snapdragon 888 processor. Oh man, this device feels so nice in hand. It's slim, it's thin, and uh, it just feels so nice. And one amazing thing about this device is that this is the, so far the only device that supports 120 FPS in Call of Duty mobile game. And today we are going to test exactly that. We'll see how this device performs when we enable 120 FPS in this game and uh, how, the, how the device handles thermal and power consumption so that we can know whether the 120 FPS is a gimmick or it could be a game changer. Okay, so let's take a look at the settings. This 120 FPS setting only works in multiplayer and uh, it will actually restrict your graphic quality to medium. So, so as you can see here, when I change the frame rate, it will set the graphic quality automatically to medium. But I guess that's fine. We can sacrifice a little bit of graphics quality for smoother gameplay, right? And uh, yeah, let's start the multiplayer game. And uh, just as on my previous test, I'll show you the real-time FPS at the bottom of the video. And I'll also include the power figures. I will play the game for about 10 minutes. Uh, if you are interested, you can watch my gameplay, although I'm, I'm, I'm a noob, right? Uh, otherwise, you can skip to the end of the video, where I'll show you all the results from this test. And I'll give you my two cents. Okay, without further ado, let's go.
sight.
All right, guys, so we finished the test. And you, as you can see here, the performance was amazing. The device was able to maintain 120 FPS almost all the time without any frame drops. And I have to say that the gaming experience was super enjoyable. It was super smooth, no jerkiness, no frame drops, uh, no lag, whatever, right? It's completely another level. It's so different from a 60 FPS gameplay that I enjoy it so much. So let's say if you are really a hardcore Call of Duty mobile player, is it worth it to buy this device only for the 120 FPS display? I would say if you do have the money, go for it. It's really different. And so far, there is no way to actually, um, let's say, uh, hack the game to, to enable higher FPS on other devices, uh, not like the PUBG Mobile, right? Yeah, so this is not a gimmick. It actually works, and it works very well. And the gaming experience is really, really good. And then as for power consumption, I think because the device was specially optimized for this high frame rate, gameplay and also because the graphics quality was reduced to medium the power consumption was not that high it's only on average 4.09 watts right so divide that by the battery capacity uh, you can have an estimated game play time of about 4.2 hours which i think is pretty decent like this is 120 hertz right 120 fps and you can play over four hours non-stop on this device and as for the heating, I don't have a thermal temperature gun, but I can tell you that uh, it's not that hot. It's quite comfortable to hold. It's just warm, but it's not hot. So it overall, it's quite enjoyable. All right, guys. So that's my gaming test of this Sony Xperia 1 Mark III on the Call of Duty Mobile. And hope you enjoyed this test. If you find this useful, please uh, give me a thumb up and share it to your friends or your community. And that's all for this video. Thank you and see you next time.